Hey all, Jason here from Upper Valley Land Trust uh, for Field Notes Friday. This week we are out at the Bear Pond Natural Area in Canaan and we're going to talk about how to tell the difference between three common pine trees you may find in the Upper Valley. White pine, red pine, and then Scots pine. One way to tell the difference between the various pine trees is by their needles. And here we have examples of the needles of each type of pine tree. Over here, we have a white pine, and you can tell that those are a little bit sort of more feathery in texture. They've got somewhat longer needles than a Scots pine, but shorter needles than a, than a red pine often. But overall texture, pretty feathery. Next here we have a uh, Scots pine, and the overall texture of the needles on these pines is more coarse. And to me, this has the general appearance of like a bottle brush. That's really what I think of when I, when I think of looking at a Scots pine. And then the next one over here, this is a red pine, and it is, uh, has longer needles generally than the other two. And, um, I suppose bushier and uh, more full than the other two as well. So that's how you might tell the difference between uh, white pine, Scots pine, and a red pine in terms of needles. Next we're going to talk about uh, bark characteristics. All right, in the area of bear pond that I'm at today, mostly we have younger white pines, and on younger white pines the bark is relatively smooth, as you see here as opposed to the other two species, which are much more scaly and coarse barked uh, throughout their life. Next, I'm gonna move over to a Scots pine. And as you see here, it's quite scaly, pretty orange uh, underneath. This is not entirely different than a red pine, which I'll show next, uh, which is why it's always good to have multiple ways to tell tree species apart. And in this instance, um, you know, you could go back to those needle descriptions. Okay, last in the terms of bark description, we have a red pine here. And red pines look somewhat similar to the Scots pines in terms of bark. They're very scaly. One of the differences is that red pines are very, the bark is very flaky. You can kind of see it's quite easy to peel off the bark here. But again, you know, going back to those uh, multiple ways to tell species apart, if you weren't sure whether you were looking at a red pine or a Scots pine, uh, you could you could easily go back to the to the needles and their overall characteristics and make an ID that way. Okay, I hope this has been helpful. Uh, red pines, white pines, and Scots pines out at Bear Pond Conservation Area. Thanks, everybody. Take care.